Rakti Hawa Brakata Yahusha Rakti Hawa Brakata Yahusha Bahasham Rakakwadash double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity lesson will be entitled The Receipt. Lord will you are edified. Revelation 16 and verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of the Most High on the earth. Vials is symbolic for what? Judgment. Verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vow on the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore on the men which had the karagma of the beast and on them which worshipped his image. Now, the point of this lesson is a follow-up from the lesson I did on yesterday. Okay, and all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, going into Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Now, let's focus on, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore on the men which had the karagma of the beast. Okay. The man is symbolic for mankind, okay, which breaks down into men, women, boys, girls. Anybody that received the karagma, okay, a noisome and grievous sore, okay, will come on them, okay. This is the receipt for the individual's for the people that receive Revelation 13 and 16, again, this is their receipt. Okay, now what is a receipt? And according to the etymon, receipt means what? The act of receiving. Again, receipt means the act of receiving. Okay, keep this in mind. And for the individuals that receive the karagma, their receipt is a sore. Okay, now, according to the Greek, for the term sore in the Greek, Strong's G, 1668. Helkos. Helkos. Okay. Definition two, according to outline of biblical usage, a sore and ulcer. Okay. A sore. According to BaterianKey.com, karagma induced tumors in laboratory rodents and dogs. Okay, and this is the abstract for this article, and it reads This chapter reviews literature published in oncology, oncology, and tox toxicology journals between 1990 and 2006 addressing the effects of fill in the blank on laboratory rodents and dogs 11 articles were reviewed in all with eight investigating mice and rats and three investigating dogs and all but three of the articles articles researchers Observe that malignant sarcomas, okay, salakia, that malignant sarcomas 
and other cancers formed around or adjacent to the carotma. The tumors develop in both experimental and control animals and in two household pets. In nearly all cases, researchers concluded that the carogma had induced the cancers. Okay? Researchers concluded that the carogma had induced the cancers. According to the etymon for the term cancer, right? What is a cancer? It is a spreading sore. What? Again, cancer is a spreading sore. This sore that is spoken of in Revelation chapter 16 and verse 2, okay, is cancer, which is nothing but a sore, okay? A spreading sore. For the individuals, and I'm talking directly to Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of your fathers. If you accept the karagma spoken of in Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, okay, Your receipt is receiving cancer. Okay? How niggas now be talking about they kept the receipts. All right? And what will be evident that you got receipts is what? Cancer. You receive cancer. Receipt means what? To receive. All right? to receive. Lord, will your edify shall alone.